Hi, I'm Tanya Arneson, Senior Pastor of Jackson First United Methodist Church. This is Food for Thought for Monday, December the 7th. During this time of COVID, I've been sharing with you monthly reflections from one of my favorite devotional authors, Joyce Rupp, from her book, Fresh Bread. Each month, she kind of frames for us some things to think about. I began this past Friday <clears throat> talking about what it means to create a nest in our life for the living Christ. If you haven't watched that already, I encourage you to watch that before you watch this one because this is a continuation. Rupp writes, Advent beckons us to be still be alert. Sharpen your awareness of the God who dwells within. Open up, hollow out, receive. Welcome the one who comes. When John writes of Jesus saying, make your home in me as I make mine in you, he could well have written, make your nest in me as I make my nest in you. If we re reflect on this truth of the indwelling God, we would be astounded and overwhelmed. We would find it so easy to yearn for more, to cry out in welcome. We would run and invite everyone to our nest to come and see how we have been blessed beyond our expectations the gift keeps entering our lives. Oh, isn't that true? That is why it is so important to reflect during Advent, to ponder the redemption, to not let the hurried pace of Christmas take us from our nesting time. We need to hold the mystery and the wonder of the incarnation near to our hearts in solitude and in prayer. This Advent, she concludes, I invite you to prepare a dwelling place for the Christ in your life. Prepare your heart daily. Develop a deeper awareness of how he dwells among us. Each morning, pray a simple prayer of, Come, Lord Jesus, dwell with me this day. Each evening, Take a few minutes to think about the nest you are preparing for the Lord. Reflect on how God has been in your life <clears throat> and how you've been open to his dwelling. You might look at the trees more often. You may want to stop and look at the nests. Ponder the message that is there for you. You could also make an artificial nest from little pieces of things around your house or office, hang the nest in one of the branches of your Christmas tree or place it in the center of your Advent wreath to remind you to prepare a home in your heart for Jesus. You might write a prayer and place it in the nest you've created. What of the significant ways God dwells in our midst is through the people around us. This December, when we are busily preparing for so many things, ask ourselves, Lord, when did I bake cookies or bread for you? When did I get a Christmas tree for you? When did I welcome you at work or in the restaurant or in the grocery store? When did I shop for you or write you a long letter? When did I receive a card or a letter from you? When did I take the time to go and visit you? And if we have been open and receptive to the word, if we have warmed the nest inside us, within us, we will hear the word say to us, wherever you welcomed these, you welcomed me. Keep welcoming Emmanuel into your heart nest this Advent season, remembering that it is there that Jesus continues to be born and desires to make a home. If only we will receive him and warm the nest with love. 
<clears throat> I end with these two thoughts. It occurs to me that as we have gone back to virtual only worship and many of the places that we gather are closing down again due to the COVID-19 virus, this Advent is a perfect Advent to take time to be still, to listen to the promptings of the Spirit in our lives, to do some soul work, to prepare to welcome the Christ into our lives. And then the second thing that occurs to me, as I've just concluded shopping for two of the children um, in our Angel Tree Project, this is also a time to share hospitality with others. I don't know about you, but my grandchildren have everything they need. And I am also aware this year that there are many children in our community who don't have adequate food or winter clothing or um, shelter, etc. And so I invite you, as you are preparing a place for the Christ child in your heart and in your life, that you also offer that hospitality that you would give Christ to a child. If you wish to call the office, talk with Reverend Greg or I, we'll be happy to help you find ways to support a child during what could be a very difficult and needful time during this COVID-19 pandemic. Find a way to be hospitable to the Christ in your life and to share that hospitality with someone in need. I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, we are worshiping online only for now, but I look forward to seeing you, I hope and pray again in January. In the meantime, be blessed and be well. Know that you are beloved. Amen.